Flowify is a Blender add-on for 3D modelers that bends an object, which I call the source object, to a surface object with evenly spaced four-sided faces and four corners, called the target surface. A flat reference grid object called the source grid is used to guide the add-on. This enables the creation of interesting objects that could be challenging to model otherwise. It is based on the Flowify SketchUp plugin of the same name, which is in turn based on the Move Along Surf command in Rhino. This video will show you how to use the add-on, and if you have any issues, do contact info at configurate.net and I will be happy to help. Online documentation is also linked in the video description. To install in Blender, go to Edit Preferences and select the Add-ons tab. Select the Install button along the top. Navigate to where you have downloaded the Flowify zip file. This file should not be unzipped. Then, click the Install Add-on from File button. Search for the add-on in the search box on the add-ons window and make sure the checkbox next to the add-on is ticked. Let's take a step-by-step -step look at how to use the add-on. First, you'll need a source object that you want to bend onto the target surface. Make sure the object's mesh has some good edges and faces that will help it to bend when deformed. Objects like text can be notoriously bad when deforming because of its edges and faces, so you might want to consider adding extra edges and faces to the mesh that will help it to distort. Next, you'll need a basic flat source grid, which is used as a reference for where you want the source object to be distorted onto the target surface. Source grids need to have four distinct corners and be rectangular in shape and consist entirely of four-sided faces for the add-on to work. It also needs to be flat as this is the starting point for the deformation. As I want the source object to lie on top of the target surface, I am positioning the source grid just below the source object. This source grid is essentially telling the add-on where I want the source object to be on the target surface. Lastly, of course, we need the target surface. Like the source grid, this also needs to have exactly four corners and consist entirely of four-sided faces for the add-on to work. This time, however, these faces need to be evenly spaced for the add-on to bend an object correctly. To space out the faces, try Blender's built-in Loop Tools add-on, which has a space command. It can, however, be distorted in any way you wish. Modifiers like Subdivision Surface and Lattice are fine to be used on this object, but be careful when adding modifiers like the Array modifier, as this can cause the add-on to miscalculate, creating a blank mesh. OK, with the source object or objects selected, right-click on the viewport and select Flowify from the menu that appears. The viewport will turn blue by default, but don't be alarmed. The add-on has temporarily switched you to face orientation mode so that you can check the alignment of the source grid and the target surface. It is important that both these objects are facing the same way, or in other words, their faces are both blue. This is important because the add-on relies on the direction of the faces to do its mapping correctly. You can resolve this issue by using the flip command when selecting faces in edit mode. Next, you will be prompted to select a corner on the source grid first. Hover your mouse over the source grid and the nearest corner will be highlighted. This corner is going to be important soon, but you can select any corner you want to start with. Click the mouse button and then you will be prompted to select a matching corner on the target surface. This corner should match the relative location of the same corner on the source grid, 
shown by the line between them. It is important that these corners match as this is used as the relative location for the deformation. Click this corner and the add-on will have all the information it needs to go ahead and create the result. A new object will be created for the distorted object with the same name as the source object but with Flowify added to the end. If you have any issues at this point, do get in touch via info at configurate.net and I will do my best to help. Some notes about this new object. If you click and move the original source object, you will see the new object also updates its relative location. This is because the two objects are tied together. You'll notice that clicking the new object and trying to move it won't necessarily work as this object is also bound to the location of the target surface. Because of this, moving the target surface also moves the new object. Because of this binding, anything you do to the source object, like editing it or adding a new modifier, also updates the new object, which should be useful. If you want to make this new object more permanent, click on the new object and go to the modifiers tab. You'll see a Flowify modifier with some additional settings which we'll discuss in a moment. If you apply this modifier, changes to the new object will be set and it will act like any regular Blender object. Let's take a look at the Flowify modifier itself. It has a few simple settings which you can mostly leave alone, but you can change the source object, source grid or target surface if you wish. The main parameter you may wish to change is the height parameter, which will multiply the current thickness of the object that the add-on has calculated to start with. All other parameters have tooltips and are described in the documentation, which is linked in the description. And that's about it. I'd really like to hear feedback about the add-on, so do get in touch and I hope you find it useful. Remember, email info at configurate.net if you have any issues and documentation with further tips and troubleshooting is linked in the description. Thanks for listening.